Transplantation of organs from animals. There's a global breakthrough here in the Bellinson Hospital. A team of researchers has developed an innovative method that will enable the transplantation of pig organs into humans. The new method will make it possible to overcome the severe shortage of organs and will also help solve the problem that the body rejects organs after transplantation. It has already been tried out on several organs like the heart, lungs, and liver, and it works. Now, come to think about it, God forbid I have some medical problem and they start replacing different organs inside of me. You know, it's frightening to think that inside of me my organs are from an animal, from a pig, from a pig that's disgusting. Why? It's closest to our nature. But me, you, on the inside, are made entirely out of pig parts. But how will that influence my behavior? My, your eye does not exist inside your body. Where is it? In your consciousness. And your consciousness does not exist inside your head or your heart. So even if everything inside of me is replaced, you won't change. What is it about us that we're so close to pigs? It's an animal that dwells in filth all the time. And we don't. We live in the same filth, only that it's the filth of our thoughts and desires, and a pig doesn't. A pig just dwells in filth, because this is what its body needs. So a pig is better than us? Scientists say that in the future, it will maybe be possible to replace the entire person, including your face, including everything. Where's the person then? So you tell me, where is man then? He's not in the leg or the hand, for sure. And not in the rest of the body, probably either. Or in the head. Also the head, what do you have there? So where is he then? He does not exist inside this flesh. Where then? Probably that there's something in the air. This thing in the air, will it ever be replaced too? It's possible, but not through medicine. How then? Through the wisdom of Kabbalah? What does it replace? That's called the incarnation of souls. And how does that work? That we can replace our soul? Soul, meaning a godly part from above, that does not exist inside our body. When the body dies, what happens to the soul? It continues. What does it mean to replace it? Suppose I can upgrade my car. Can I upgrade my soul as well? Yeah, to a soul that's more similar to the Creator. What is a soul that's more similar to the Creator? It has a greater will to bestow, to connect to others, to love more. A person becomes better, that's what you're saying? Yeah. The Creator is the general force of love. And if I upgrade to a better soul, then it puts me in a better position in regard to life and in relation to the Creator. And what does it open? New options or what? Yeah. It opens a connection to the Creator. And what does that give a person in his day-to-day -day life? He gets up in the morning. What does he think about? He thinks and dreams about how to do good to others. And what does he get as a result? He gets a sense of wholeness, perfection, eternity, a feeling of the upper force that is in a kind of connection with him. Does it change him from the inside? It changes him entirely, and it has nothing to do with the flesh and blood.